Elevate! <clears throat> Spielberg, baby! How are the kids? Element of the week. Oxygen! You need it to breathe. It also makes up one third of water. Which you need to live. So basically, you're alive because of oxygen. <laughs> so, I know all of you guys remember when I did the infamous clean up the cafeteria video, right? So basically, I'm back here for one more time to let you guys know. Pick up after yourself. So basically, look, we have a nice, clean cafeteria. This is how it should look after you leave it every single time. You have trash everywhere, you know? It's not a good look for you guys, okay? So remember, throw away your trash. See, guys, this is gold. You don't want to see this anymore. That's what I thought. Pick up your trash. Take it, throw it away. Simple as that. So, one last time. Make sure you guys throw away your trash, keep your area clean, and you'll have a good life. So, here's my last time. Have a great summer, have a great year, and I'll see you guys next time. It's always okay to be a knight. Shine bright like a diamond, and you'll be alright. Peace!
entire time I knew him, he only ever had one goal. To wipe out half the universe. If he gets all the Infinity Stones, he can do it with the snap of his fingers. Just like that. Tell me his name again. Thanos. We got one advantage. He's coming to us. We have what Thanos wants, so that's what we use. Let's talk about this plan of yours. I think it's good, except it sucks. So let me do the plan, and that way, it might be really good. Wow. still exist. Perfectly balanced. As all things should be. I hope they remember you. The Rotary Club is looking for a family to host an international student. Your family would host a student for three months, long enough to help you learn new languages and traditions. The program will provide an understanding of foreign culture, hopefully inspiring you to apply for the exchange yourself. There will be three separate host families, so get in contact as fast as possible. To participate, contact either Mrs. Male at male at fultonschools.org or Mr. Wilcox at cliff.wilcox at mdfe at statefarm.com. Hey bros, peace. Welcome back to a new episode called Chet Brad and That's How Tape. Uh you do to make the most out of your senior year? I'd probably join sports if I didn't work. It's called Kroger Slavery. <laughs> <laughs> but I would probably join a sport. I would probably have joined the play. All my friends were in it and I was hesitant so I didn't do it in the end but I probably would have actually joined them and done it. I'd probably have like the most parties, show the most school spirit, 
at every football game, you know, make myself seem like that very like high spirit in school. Things that I wanted to take most advantage of during my senior year, like I should have taken advantage of senior cut day, um, a lot of the free food. Um, I think I would have acted a little bit crazier, just a little bit, just, just cuz, like it would have been great. And uh, did I mention I would have taken advantage of senior cut day? If you can change your senior year, how would you do it? I'd actually show up to school. All right. I don't know if I would change anything. I feel like I have no regrets. Maybe that's bold, but I, I don't know. I feel like I did everything that I wanted to do. I was involved with marching band, which was like the best thing ever, so. Um, I don't know. A very noble answer, Ms. <laughs> Before every break that we had, I would grab sub subwoofers and play Russian K-pop in the hallways. There's no such thing as Russian K-pop. I would create some. I would find some. I'm actually gonna miss this place. That's it. I'm actually gonna miss this place. Juju, Grace 2018. <laughs> Thanks for having me. Fonzie. A boogie with a Cupcake candy. Come for Eminem. Tupac. This is Miss Fonzie. Baby. Cupcake. Freestyle. Duck Duck Goose. Who is that by? Cupcake. Uh, let me see. Um, Echeme la culpa. Right now? Ah, uh, River. Eminem and Ed Sheeran. Uh, Loyalty. Cartier. I'm not a regular person. By a million with a. Um, I'm really, I really don't have a favorite song. I'm really just uh, disconnected from the music these days. Um, it doesn't speak a message to me, so I really don't have a favorite song right now. Somebody had to convince me that it's a song. Master of 
vacío Ooh. I was broken from a young age Taking my soul into the masses Writing my poems for the few Then look at me, took at me, shook at me Feeling me singing from heartache, from the pain Taking my message through the veins Speaking my lesson from the brain Seeing the beauty through the It came from pain You made me a, you made me a believer Believer What's up Centennial? I'm Katie Wooden and today I will be interviewing the one and only Madison Knight Hello, my name is Madison Knight. Cool. So, how'd you like your first year here at Centennial? It was satisfying. Cool. Do you have any advice for upcoming freshmen? Get to the pool. Lunchroom first, so you get a table. What was your favorite part about Centennial? Nice. The French toast sticks for breakfast. What's your least favorite part about Centennial? Nice. Thanks. Thank you, Madison. Thank you, Centennial. Well, Centennial, uh, that's it. Uh. Hey guys, it's me. Um, I'm in the cafeteria, and we're gonna do some more Women on the Street, so. Who's your favorite teacher? Miss Seawee. Uh, I don't even go to the school. Shout out to Miss Beer and Miss King. I love y'all both. Miss Jones, she was my lit teacher last year, and she let me like leave school early just because I said I had no work to do. This is really awkward. Oh. Mr. Kuhn is my favorite teacher. Oh. Um, who's your favorite teacher and why? Mr. Beekner. Why? Cause. We found our premier artist, Lil Moonrock. Um, Lil Moonrock, who's your favorite teacher? I don't go to the school. It's Teacher Appreciation Week, so do you have any shout outs? It's the accolade. <laughs> it's the loft. Cool. I love my I love all my teachers equally. Um I love all of my teachers except Mr. Hennessy. JK, Thank you. I'm so no. sure. <laughs> favorite teacher. Shout out Miss Wolf for being the best accolade teacher accolade has ever seen because accolade is better than yearbook. Emily, I have food in my mouth. Emily, <laughs> can you just answer really quick while you're still chewing who your favorite teacher is? Um, shout out Mr. Kuhn. Yeah. Um, Mr. Davis is my teacher appreciation week. Appreciate your teachers. Good night. Juan, you waited to the last minute to do your video. Why did you do that? Because, because we, we did. did. What's up, Centennial? I'm Ian. And I know I haven't been giving you guys a lot of apps lately, but that's because I've been on the drift. The thumb drift. Fast and Furious, one-touch car racing. Play the number one drifting game on the App Store with over 100 unique cars for fast, furious, and fun action. Whether you know how to drift or not, you'll enjoy sliding sideways around the corners to compete for the highest score. If you don't have control, then you're not going fast enough. And that's what's up. I had really great teachers when I was in high school and that sort of planted the seed. I thought it would be really cool to be a teacher and be around students. And so, long time ago, I had that idea. And when I was a kid, I played around with my parents' um, video camera and made different videos. And uh, when I moved out into my first apartment, I got a camera, and it was still more of just a hobby. But uh, eventually, I got a computer and was able to really make things a way to, to do um, storytelling. After I got started with 
my computer and learning how to edit, I started getting um, getting work. So once I really started getting work, then I thought, hey, this is something I can do. So it was um, it was nice to do work and get paid for it. After my family's business closed, then I doors were opening as far as what um, to do next, and that's when I really realized that that was the next step for me to, to become a teacher. I would say no. I love what I do, but my dream job would be to travel the world and film. As cliche as it might sound, I do, and I look forward to coming in every day and, and seeing what's in store and all this chaotic, crazy teenage life stuff that's happening. It's never boring. That's good. <laughs> All right, that's it. All right. Thank you. Okay. What's up, Centennial? It's Molly Heister, and I'm your host of Yesterday's Weather Today, where we predict weather You've already experienced. Today is Wednesday, May 9th, 2018. It's partly cloudy with a 20% chance of rain. It's a high of 83 degrees and a low of 61 degrees. Now to Max to confirm the weather. Yes. It is partly cloudy. This is where they filmed yesterday's weather today. Oh, wow. Thanks, Max. You're welcome. According to the Weather Channel, Friday, it's still going to be hot with a high of 89 degrees, and it'll be partly cloudy with a 20% chance of rain. That's all we have for you this week, Centennial. I'm Molly Heiser. Just kidding, but I fooled you. And you've been watching yesterday's weather today. Centennial, I'm Takaya, and you're watching CSPN. What's up, Centennial? I'm Max Abel. Both the girls lacrosse team and the tennis teams ended very good and successful seasons this past week in the state tournament. The boys lacrosse team beat Etowah 16-9 and they will play at Alatoona tonight. That's all we have for this week's Centennial. You've been watching CSPN. People have been disappearing. I haven't seen Alex or Traven in weeks. Uh, we don't know where they are. They haven't been showing up at all. Uh, I'm scared. I don't know what's going on. I think they're, I don't know if I'm next. I'm trying to hide under the floor. Uh, please send help uh, if you don't hear back from me. I wish I knew what was going on. I think I'm next.